Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, June 21st, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Leave no way out. I wonder if this is going to be trap. Let's see if we can build down here. Group with a 12 star flag. That sounds like the EU. Charge. I guess this could be run at. Neighbor of Catalonia in Spain. Hmm. Neighbor. Is this another region? I'm not sure what they're going for here. Cocktails of tequila and grapefruit soda. Hmm. It sounds good, whatever it is. Star Trek communications officer. That would be Lieutenant Uhura. Okay. Blank Major. That's probably Ursa Major. Kidney related. That adjective is renal. Neptune for one. Okay, so I don't think they're talking about the planet. I think they're talking about the Roman god. He would be a sea god. Okay. Neighbor of Catalonia. Hmm, this looks totally unfamiliar to me. Okay, so is this Palomas? I've actually had a Paloma before, I should have remembered that. Zippo, that's an informal word for nothing, so this could be nada. Aragon, is that another region? Robotic type, and this looks like it's a theme answer. Hmm, is it just... An automaton? That would be a robotic type. Marcel Duchamp's Fountain EG. I guess that would be an example of Dada Art. Yeah. It's a deal, and this is an exclamation mark clue, so we need something that literally is a deal. I suppose that could be a sale. Diamonds opposite on the Mohs scale. I know the Mohs scale measures mineral hardness, so I guess talc is very soft. Hungry Hungry Animal in a popular game. That was Hungry Hungry Hippos. How signatures are typically written. They're typically written in pen. Yeah, otherwise you could erase them. Okay, send off. Maybe that's ship off. Common conifer. A conifer is a tree that makes pine cones, so this will be a pine. Balneotherapy site. I've never heard of balneotherapy before, but it looks like it's gonna be a spa. Bombard as with snowballs, that'll be pelt. I bet we'll have another theme answer here. Christina of Bad Moms. I've never seen this, but it looks like it's going to be Christina Applegate. Okay, so we have Applegate and Automaton. Hmm. They both start with A. Interesting. I'm not sure what else they have in common. Honey and sugar for two. Those would be an example of pet names. The Blank Holmes Mysteries, Young Adult Detective Series. That's Enola Holmes. That's Sherlock's sister, right? Peace activist Yoko is Yoko Ono. Any living thing. I suppose that would be an organism, not an automaton. Okay. Word with sight or speed. Hmm. Does it go before or after? Rate of speed? Rate of sight doesn't make sense. Home of Akershus Castle, which has a replica at Disney World. It starts with an O? It sounds like it's somewhere in Europe. Akershus. Hmm. Way to sleep or run. I guess you can sleep late and run late. Poems of praise are odes. So I guess this is Oslo in Norway. Interesting. 
maybe this is site read and speed read. And then what is this? Novelty Aquarium Dweller. I guess that's a sea monkey. That's a funny entry. Armrests. And this is wordplay, so it's not about armrests on a chair. Hmm. I wonder if it slings as a place to rest your arm if you've had an injury. Okay. Vampire's bed. That would be a casket. Did some intel work. Is this about a spy? Hmm. Cause for a blessing. That should be a chew, right? It's a sneeze. And this is a theme answer? What is going on here? They all start with A. Hmm. Man, what a weird collection of theme answers. Canadian interjections, that'll be A's. Airing. I guess that could be on TV. Overlook rudely should be snub. So maybe this is scouted. Yeah, I guess it's about doing reconnaissance. Feature of many a Corvette. That's gotta be a T-top. Selection screen is a menu. Kobe currency. Kobe is a city in Japan, so they use the yen in Japan. It may be passed down from parent to child. Yeah, that would be a gene. And stun is shock. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. I still have no idea what's going on with the theme. Cream-filled pastry. Hmm. I'm not sure. There's a lot of different kinds of those. Site of the first Occupy protests in brief. Uh, wasn't that Zuccotti Park in Manhattan? Hmm. In brief. I'm not sure what they're going for here. That was a close one, an equivalent phrase. That should probably be few. So, oh, maybe this is Wall Street. There we go. Doc alternative. Hmm. Uh, this is a file extension. You know, I want it to be a PDF. So maybe it's few instead with a P. Yeah. 10 prefix, that would be DECA. Not quite succeed. It looks like it's gonna start with fail, doesn't it? Hmm, I don't know how it's gonna end. Intensity metaphorically. You can turn up the heat. Cream filled pastry, okay, that's an eclair. So this is not fail. Interesting. So maybe this is fall apart? Does that make sense? Music genre originating in Jamaica. That should really be ska. Not quite succeed. Hmm. Spoke with. That should be talked to. Type? Hmm. I wonder if this is talking about a sort of something? That would fit. A Man Called Blank, 2022 Tom Hanks film. I don't know if I heard about this movie. Assuming that's true, an equivalent phrase. If so, Black Water Bird. Hmm, is it a loon? I think some loons are black. Uh, oh boy. Confession from someone who had an ace up the sleeve. Um, I'm not sure about loon here. Shouldn't this be I cheated? So maybe this is a crow? Is a crow a water bird? That doesn't sound right to me. Hmm. I'm going to take out Crow. That seems wrong. Sir Isaac Newton. Unfreeze has got to be Thaw. Drain as from Soil. I think this should be a Leech. Uh, is it with an E or an A? I think it's actually an A. Okay, so this is our last theme answer. Tab found on many musicians' websites. 
Um, hmm. Is it live music? Let's see if that's right. Tony winning actress Menzel. Shoot, I know I've seen this name before. I want to say it's Edina. I'm not sure if I'm spelling that right. Target for salicylic acid. Yeah, that is acne. Can you repeat that? Another equivalent phrase. What? Okay, so let's finally take a look at our revealer now that we have all of our theme answers. This last one didn't start with an A. I have no idea what's going on here. Hierarchical system, or what is formed when the answers to the starred clues are placed end to end. End to end? Applegate Automaton Achoo Live Music? What? What does that mean? It looks like our answer is going to be a food chain, right? End to end. Answers to the starred clues are placed end to end. Oh, oh my god. Apple gâteau. That's a kind of French dessert, I think. Then we have a tomato. Then we have a nacho, an olive, and then uh, music? I guess it's not music. It must be something else. That's funny. Wow, what a cool theme. It's a literal food chain. That's really, really cool. Wow. Features of many New York City street corners. Hmm. I really should know this. It's not a lamppost or a newspaper stand. What is this? Word with pants or party. Um, is it pooper? Pants, pooper, party, pooper? <laughs> I somehow don't think so. This is weirdly familiar, an equivalent phrase. That should really be deja vu, right? Um, hmm, is it pajama pants, pajama party? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Subdues as wild hair. Maybe that's tames. Smooths could be evens. So be bubbles. That's got to be suds. Manipulated unfairly as a system. I guess in that case, the system was gamed. Famous last words. And this is wordplay. So it's not about a quote that you'd remember. Hmm. Last words. Oh, maybe it's amens. Yeah, those would be the last words of sermons in a church. Okay. Lip. That's got to be sass. So what is this? Oh, it's bodegas. Okay, that makes sense. And this is a live dates. Nice. So our last food is dates. That's excellent. Okay, let's finish up this corner here. Um... What is this? Hmm. I don't know if I know this bird. Is this Otto? So this would be a coot? <laughs> That's a pretty cute name for a bird. And this is fall short. Yeah. All right. Well, let's throw this T in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right. A Wednesday puzzle in 18 minutes. What a cool theme this is. We have a literal food chain. Each one of our theme answers bleeds into the next, and bridging each pair of answers is a kind of food. So we start with apple, we go into gateau, we have a tomato, a nacho, an olive, and we end on dates. Yeah, this is such a clever theme. I don't know if I ever would have noticed this without the revealer. Yeah, that ghetto is really hard to spot. Very, very cool. We had a bunch of other nice entries too. Sea monkey is very funny. I love palomas. I know that means dove or pigeon in Spanish. I think that's really cute. We also got bodegas, which is a great New York City term. All right, well, I was definitely satisfied by that tasty food chain theme. I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me. 
I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee-themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. <laughs>